Hi there, Terry Hashimoto. Nice to meet you. Thank you for making your body track purchase. Come on in. We're going to download some new software and show you how to get set up with body track. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the bodytracksports.com website under golf and I'm going to look at body track sales and latest body track software. So just download this software. Click it on. And as you can see, it's an exe file on the lower left hand side. Just click that on. I'm going to say yes to run that. Yes to next. Install. Finished. Boom. And I'm good to go. Now what I like to do, and you can see my face is up there now, so I'm going to hit the backspace key. What I like to do is uh, always restart the computer when we do this. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to restart the computer. Okay, now we've restarted the computer, and we're going to open up the Body Track Shift program. So as you can see, we've got uh, four parts to the computer program. We've got the video, which is off the webcam. We've got the center of pressure trace below the video, the velocity chart on the lower right hand side and we have these numbers above that and we're going to talk about what this means. The very first thing I like to do is I'm going to shut the microphone button to off and you can see it's that red circle right there and you hit the backspace key and it says live on your computer on the screen. So I gotta to go to the top left hand side and you can take a look on my computer set right here. This little icon man right here and we're going to click on that icon <laughs> and it says settings and we're going to go to either longer or shorter settings. And this is for the velocity chart. And watch what happens if I go to longer recording right here. That went to 1.2, 1.4. And I want to adjust this so that it's in and around 1.2. So I'm going to stay right there, 1.2 seconds. Now the other thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go back to that icon on the top left hand side. And I'm going to go to settings again. And I'm going to go to mat type. And I'm going to go to corner buttons back cable and I'm going to show you where that is right here. We want that cable coming out the back right hand corner and I've got this set up real nice so that when we're facing the monitor the cable is going to come out the back right hand corner. I'm going to click that on which I've just done and now we're pretty well set. But the velocity chart this collects all the data points that build the CLP trace. So if we make this too long of a setting if we make that two seconds for example that means when we capture an impact, we're going to collect two seconds of data before impact and two seconds of data post impact. And four seconds of data will be compressed in the velocity chart, which then will be correlating to the CLP trace. So we just want to make it around 1.2 seconds. Okay, so now I've moved the mat away from the video camera so we can stand on it and show you what that white dot does. Okay, so now look at the white dot underneath the video. When those white lines dissipate, it'll center. Okay, so this is the auto center feature of the body track. Now the velocity chart, when I move that white dot to my toes, it will represent as a yellow line above the baseline. When I move it to my heels, it's a yellow line below the baseline. So toes above, heels below. When that white dot moves to the right side, to my trail side, it's going to be a white line below the baseline. When I move it to my left, it's going to be a white line above the baseline. So now we are in the static position. So when we want to be able to set up a golfer for a putt or a chip, we can now begin to understand what the weight distribution is on a vertical pressure basis from the lead side, trail side, heel to toe, either foot. Okay, now we want to capture impact by sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the mic and we're going to open up the microphone to two levels of green. One, two. And it heard my voice. It went straight to record and review. So what you have to do is you have to adjust the microphone so that when you're not talking, it'll just say it'll it'll just go straight to live. So here we go. Hit the live key on the mat. And as you can see, it recorded my swing. Now when we're in large audiences and if you're outside. We highly recommend using an external mic, and this is a Samsung mic. It's very easy. It's a directional mic. You can aim it directly at the golf ball, and it only pick up that noise. But the body track unit itself can't distinguish whether it's a golf ball being hit, whether it's a golf cart that might be backfiring, whether it's a jet airplane above you, or whatever noise that it might be. So sound is critical. So let's take a look at what we collected here. So I'm going to grab the scrubber bar. I'm going to go back. I'm looking at key points. I want to know what my weight distribution is at address. So in this case, it's 43.57 on my trail side. 
pretty well balanced 50-50 on my left heel to toe and my right heel to toe is 54-46. I'm going to go to the transition point. The transition point is this first point just prior to the second big move. Now I've got 94% of my weight on my trail side and we're going to be approaching what we call peak velocity and peak velocity is the fastest motion in any direction. We'll talk about that later. But we're looking for a couple key points. One is a dress, 45, 44, 56 in this case. And I got a lot of weight to the trail side at the transition point. And then I want to know at zero, and zero is determined by sound, what my weight distribution is at impact. We've got a lot of good tour data on this, and we know what the ranges of weight distribution should be at each position, transition and impact. And an impact in this case, I've got 95% of my weight on my lead foot. So now we're going to take a look at what some of the numbers above the velocity chart mean. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at what the numbers above the velocity chart mean. Again, there's the video, which is captured by webcam, the COP trace, which is, consists of all the data points in the velocity chart. And then we've got these four sets of numbers. If you happen to forget, the white line is a lateral motion. The yellow line is your heel to toe motion. So now the stance width is the stance, the initial stance width, which was 41.6 centimeters, and then the current stance width at any time during the velocity chart. So if I grab that scrubber bar and I move that line, you can see the width of my stance is changing. Now the COP velocity in centimeters per second, this is how fast your, 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 your body is moving in a lateral direction is the white line. The yellow line is in a heel to toe motion. So at any particular time, it means that your body is moving in, in, at those speeds in centimeters per second. So this is going to be very helpful in understanding the kinematic sequence of your golf swing. For example, as you can see on the white numbers here, my body is moving faster laterally. It's going to peak in and around 328.3 centimeters per second. And then it's going to start slowing down. So if I'm slowing down laterally, now the rotational forces are kicking in, and that's going to be the um, part of the kinematic sequence leading to distance gain. The peak velocity will always show up. Uh, it's always, always mark it on your, on your uh, velocity chart. And in this case, it's 328.3 centimeters per second. And then very simply, and, and not to overthink this, what we do on the velocity chart is we, we take that peak velocity right there, and we time it to impact. So from the minute that you begin to put all the pressure on the shaft, we time that to impact, and that is 170 millimeters. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna capture the data and we're gonna save it, and I'm gonna show you where the data is saved in shift. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the machine, hit the live button on the map, Okay, now it's went to review. So all to save the data, all we gotta do is take a look at this. We just merely hit the disk button on the, the user interface. And up top here, there's an area where you can put the, the golfer's name. You can put Terry, and I'm gonna put my email address here just so that uh, you know what it is. And you hit the check mark. That's very important because it won't save the data unless you do that. And again, you can hit the, uh, the disk button, and it's going to save it. Now, we're running Windows 8.1 here, and to get to the documents, all you have to do is you hit the Windows key and E, and it's going to go to Documents, and under Documents, you'll see a shift file here, and there's my name, Hashimoto, Terry G., and now you can play that back. You can import that into your V1 or your GASP system or whatever software file that you're using for frame by frame and side by side. But that's now, a lot of you are asking, are we going to have this set up on a wireless basis? And in fact, we do have the task completed. There will be a little box that you plug in the USB port to and you'll be able to connect wirelessly via Bluetooth to your laptop and or eventually to your tablet. We will be demonstrating this, but it won't be available until later on. Listen, I wanna thank you very much for purchasing your body track. It's a pleasure to be with you today. And we're gonna to later on talk to you about the seven traces of golf. 
Terry Hashimoto with Body Track. Very nice to meet you.